Hey friends, can you believe it? We are 12 days away from Christmas. And I really do pray that you aren't getting bogged down by the hustle and bustle of the season, but instead that this time that we march towards Christmas can really be a joy for you as we remember and celebrate our Savior's birth. I also don't wanna to be too cliche here, but today I really wanna share something with you from Luke chapter two. It does seem that during this time of year, everybody wants to open up to Luke chapter two, and that's good. It's appropriate, it really is meaningful, and it's <laughs> it's the story of our Savior's birth. It's Jesus, and that's what we ought to be talking about this time of year. That's what we ought to be talking about every time of year, because he's not just the reason for this season, he's the reason for every season. But today, who I really wanted to talk about were the shepherds. You know, those men that were out keeping their flock by night, and the angels appeared to them, and the angel says, I have really good news. Jesus, the Savior, the one that you've been anticipating for so long, the Savior of the world, he's here. That had to be an, an awesome moment for the shepherds. Not only are they hearing this good news, but then they have the whole sky light up with heavenly hosts praising God and saying glory to God in the highest. It's incredible. But what really has been sticking with me lately is the shepherds, how they act, how they respond, what it is that they do after that encounter with the angel and after that time that they hear about the good news of the Savior coming. So in verse 15, it says, when the angel went away from them into the heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened. Verse 16 says, and they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. It's awesome that the first thing that the shepherds do after they hear the word is they respond to it and they respond with haste. And that just challenges me. When I read God's word, what do I do with it? Do I respond with haste? Jump down to verse 17 and it says, and when they saw it, they made known the saying that they had been told concerning this child. They not only responded to the word of God, but they talked about the things that they had seen and heard. And as Christians, that's something that we need to be doing on a daily basis. We need to be responding to God's word and we need to be talking about it. And this encounter that they had, they couldn't stop talking about it. Verse 18 says, and all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. The shepherds, they didn't keep this good news, these glad tidings to themselves. No, they responded to what they heard and then they talked about what they had heard and then now seen. And this encounter with Jesus, it changed them. Verse 18, and the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen. I pray that we all would respond to God's word with haste, that we would talk unending about the good news that we have heard and seen, and we should allow God to change us. That's my prayer for us this Christmas.